Hi there guys, welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial and in this one we're going to be taking a look at um, 3D space uh, sketches. So we've previously covered um, plenty of sketches whereby we're working in the 2D space, um, either a vertical or horizontal planes. What we're going to be looking at here is being able to create a sketch that actually combines those planes um, and then stitching those together to create an actual surface and ultimately you know, an object from those. So this is going to be part of a series of tutorials where we're going to be building up a kid's um, hairbrush. So we'll start by creating a new component, which we will call the brush body. So this just helps keep our timeline nice and clean. Um, so now everything that we do is going to be on its own separate timeline for this particular component. We're going to start off by creating a sketch this will be a regular 2D sketch. So we create an ellipse and we'll make that 100 by 55. Now we can go ahead and create another sketch. It's going to be on the same plane. However, we're going to turn on 3D sketching. There's a little button over here, 3D sketch. And now we can create an arc. We'll make a three point arc which will go from here to here and then we'll switch to the vertical plane like so. So what that now has allowed us to do is create this sketch which is constrained on these two planes here but also goes up. So it's joined at the tips either end of the ellipse but it also goes up. Now we can add in a uh, vertical line here because what I'm going to need to do is break these up. So now I've added that vertical line. If I go to modify and break and I select this line, you'll see there's a red cross coming up there because I'm able to break this into two separate segments. Okay. Right now we're going to do the same again. We create another arc three-point arc again in 3D space, so we're going to go from this side to this side this time, and then we're going to go up vertically and place it there, and then again we're going to want to break this, and when I go to break we don't get any red X because we need to put in our vertical line. Now when we go to modify and break, you see our red X is there, and we're able to do that. So now we have our separate geometries here, but the bottom is still a complete circle. So we will go and edit this sketch. Now again, if I go to break, see nothing is showing up, but if we draw in our cross lines, and now we go to break, see now we get the red X's showing up and we're able to break this up into three sections. Okay, so now we have our um, different sketches which are in our 3D space. And now we should be able to create a surface from these sketches. problem is this curve here. It's not allowing us to select this only. There, turn off enable chaining, that's why. And now we can select all the edges. Okay, so now we have selected all those edges and we are creating a new body from this. But you'll see this actually has no thickness to it. It's, it's just paper thin. But it's got the geometry and shape that we want. So 
what do we do next? Well, if we take a look in our bodies here, you'll see we've got this one surface. Now, what we can do is, is mirror this. So we'll mirror the object. And we'll mirror it on this plane. You'll see it will create a copy of it there. Yeah. And now we can stitch these two together. These are two uh, bodies, but yeah, the basically now they are one. Okay. And now we're going to do the same again. We will mirror this, but in another plane. So we select, and our mirror plane will be this. So now we've got two bodies, which you can stitch together. And it will actually then create it into one body, you see? However, this is still basically um, a surface. It's not an actual a body. It's got no thickness to it. You couldn't 3D print this, for example. You need to add some thickness to it. So the way that we're going to do that is we'll go over to our solids and we go to create um, and we go to thicken. And what this will allow us to do is we can select all these segments and we can make this thicker. So let's say make this one millimeter thick. And it's going to create a new body for us. So if we go to OK, you'll see now we have our original surface, but we also now have this body which has thickness to it. So this is actually an object now that, you know, technically you could 3D print because this is now an actual solid body uh, rather than only a surface. So that basically um, is how we create a 3D sketch and use surface tools to um, create a, a complex curved surface. You know, this would be basically an impossible surface for us to make out of the solid tools. So you need to use the surface tools, but we need to be able to create a solid from it. So to do that, we use the thicken tool. Um, and there we have it. So this is the beginnings of our um, model. I will post a link to be able to download the um, Fusion file. Um, so you can see our endpoint here, and you can also see the timeline um, that we've worked along. And what I mentioned earlier about the timeline, you see if we go back to our main model here, um, it, 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 it has separate timeline, you see? So there's certain... Um, actions which are only here inside of this particular timeline. When we create more components, you'll, you'll get a better idea of what it is I mean by that and how it keeps everything arranged. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you found this useful, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.